Hello everyone and welcome back to Hogwarts Mystery. In the last one, Charlie did the sit in a car and decided to pick us up with Bill and all. Um, but pretty unsafe I would say, however, um, there is a twist, we can't leave yet. Because we have to meet with Charlie in a courtyard, because of what I could see. We had to go find a gnome? Yes, we have to go find a gnome! That's, uh, that's something. Okay. So let's go and check it out. He doesn't seem to be here, though. Oh, he's over there. Oh, he's looking around and all that. I really actually like the design of the winter at Hogwarts, especially here in Courtyard. That's so nice. Okay, let's go talk to Charlie. What are you doing here, Charlie? Well, other than picking us up. Anyway. Before we can go home to the borrow, we need to find a gnome for the top of our Christmas tree. Huh? Come again? You put a gnome on top of your Christmas tree? A living one? Wouldn't that just make a lot of noise and troubles and stuff like that? <laughs> you cut us to it, Bright. You put a gnome on top of your Christmas tree? Yeah, I could imagine that being very unpleasant. Because I don't know how you would attach the gnome to the top of the Christmas tree without it being... Vlad the Impaler type, you know, uh, not, not, I, I know my channel is not for small kitties, so if you know your history, you knew, you know what Vlad the Impaler did to people, so, so for me it's kind of like, what are they, what are you going to do with the gnome, you say? <laughs> it's somewhat of a tradition amongst us brothers. Every year we stupefy a gnome and decorate it as an angel. What? What? Well, that's... What? <laughs> that is so weird. Wait, what? what? What was wrong with just making an angel out of paper and tensils and whatever? Golden tensils and stuff like that. Pipe cleaners, whatever. Use a gnome? Oh, this is this is going to be blood today in the moment, isn't it? Oh my! I hope it's just sitting on a branch and not the other thing that I am fearing that we. <laughs> but poor thing! I like that's really odd, but that's also really really mean. I I would put it as odd to be honest, because it's kind of like. Well, you can just make an angel out of papers. It's not really that hard. This is something that Fred and George would think of, not Bill and Charlie. Like, what? Th that's odd. That's rather odd. Wouldn't you prefer something more traditional on top of your Christmas tree? <laughs> not really. Art suits our family. I'm glad I didn't say mean then. Because mean does not suit the family, but that's really odd. I mean, really. Plus, it's something of an inside joke. So, see if mom and dad can no uh, notice it's not an ornament. <laughs> they never do. <laughs> I'm lost for words, boys. I would not have thought that about you. But again, it like I feel like that's kind of cruel towards the little gnome. And it seems that we're in a time where convenience is more than being nice to creatures. Just like that Snape had no cause of taking winds from little fairies. So I, I guess this is a thing. But we just can't. But 
Can't, can't we just find a gnome at home? I don't want to get back to the borough so late. Yeah, you have plenty of gnomes at the borough. If the first movie is anything, or is it the second, where they help out in the garden. I remember specifically there being a lot of gnomes there. I bet mom's begun decorating the house already. I tried, but it seems the blizzard sent them scrambling for a warmer place than to the borough. Okay. It is a tra family tradition, Bill. It sounds like a reason Christians couldn't be complete without it. Yeah, no, we're turning cruel. Great. As long as we don't hurt it, I hope, and we put it back from where we took it. Right? I hope. <laughs> All right, but let's be quick about it. Brilliant! I already found a gnome at the Quidditch pitch. And that, and chased it there. And chased it here. Oh, so it's somewhere here hiding. All right, then. All we need to do is find it. All right. Can we find it before we go into the talk? Um, I can't see if it's actually hiding underneath the snowman's uh, hat over there because it has, or if it's a puff skin. <laughs> it's something moving underneath the snowman's hat. It's very, very, very small, but of course it could just be another puff skin. We have seen them before in the event, but it doesn't seem like there are other things we can interact with. So... I guess we would just have to... Is it puff skin or no? I cannot see. We just have to wait and see if it's in the snow, man. But else, there's a puff skin underneath that hat. Oh, it's only a one-level one. Fine enough. I saw it! I saw it! It was a puff skin underneath the hat, and there's the gnome. Always making faces of us, the gnomes. Oh well, we will look into the empty fountain. Careful not to get bitten. Well, it's also very, well, not practical to use a creature that can bite then. Would you say? We will hunt in, <laughs> hunt in the fountain. Johnny should get to put the gnome on top of the Christmas tree. Yeah, let's engage in this odd behavior. Oh, he's right there! Hello, little fella! Hello! Oh, he's making faces of us. But yeah, gnomes, as far as I remember, is pretty fast. I still like there's a little puff skin underneath that Christmas hat. They're like everywhere now, which is really adorable. And yet, I'm still yet to get one though. This is really sad. I wouldn't feel so sorry for the gnome. They are rotting creature. I want to That's not an excuse. You decided to hunt it. I would understand it being mean. I I mean. Mm -hmm. You should have seen the ridiculous outfit the twins dressed the gnome in last year. So this is a Fred and George thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's right there. Hello. Bye bye. He's still hiding, though. How should we decorate the gnome this year? Uh, hopefully not in painful clothing. Oh, he's over there now. He's a fast little fella. He's a very fast little fella. Let's see here. The gnome better not be hiding behind here, waiting to bite my face off. Um, why use a creature that is seemingly aggro and then find it and then dress it up? Wouldn't there be easier methods to do it? Or 
at least make a paper mache angel. I mean, you can make it move. It's magic, right? You've missed a lot since you were gone, shall we? Hmm. Search together. Oh, there he is. Oh. Of course, one of the time I want to see the gnome, it's nowhere in sight. So they're very common creatures then? Just like the fairies? And definitely puffskins. <laughs> so let's see here. Hey! Is he doing okay over there? Oh, they stupefied him! I was like, is he okay? Does he have a tummy ache? Is he okay? <laughs> you okay, fella? Thanks me. Thanks for helping me find and stupefy the gnome. I will grab him and put him in the flying car. Then we can collect your things and get going. Ah. But there's a lot more to the event because we're only halfway through. Sorry about that. Charlie really gets into re gets really into Christmas. No need for apologies. It was actually fun. <laughs> the annual gnome haunting. Oh, bye, Charlie. Easy for you to say. The gnome didn't bite you. This is same to. This is going to seem coming out of nowhere. But it's been on my mind that I caused the blizzard. Uh, do you regret inviting me to Christmas uh, with you in the borough? Of course not. Why would I? Oh, he's such a sweetie. If you hadn't, you would have been home by, with your family by now. Perhaps. But you would have been here alone. Plus, everything worked out, hasn't it? We'll be heading out soon. And it won't be long before we are celebrating Christmas at the borough. You're right, Bill. I'm excited to experience a Weasley Christmas. Yeah, me too. Excited to see how that goes. What I'm more excited to see is if we're actually going to the borough or something happens and we have to stay at the school. I still feel bad about showing up without a perfect present. Uh, Bill Ray, come with me to the training ground quick. That car isn't f uh, flying. Car isn't working. Uh, <laughs> whoopsies. So I'm thinking that the last, maybe seven parts, yeah, probably going to be on the school grounds. But it could be funny if they're like external special um, events where you actually go off school, and you just see it like in those scenes once or twice, and that's it. But it, it, for me, that could be an extra little notch to the game. So it's not always just on the school grounds or in Hotsmeet or whatever development down the line has where we're going to go. However, let's see here. Hurry to a training grounds. Got to fix Glad's car, flying car. Quickly so we don't miss Christmas Eve. Well, that sounds like a very swell idea. Um, but we will be doing that in the next one. And until next time, guys. Take care and have a fantastic day.